Hello, this is Morteza Kurdi, and in this tutorial, we are going to design the layout of our application. So here we can see that at the left hand side, we have the Android view. Just open the Android view and we have three folders. We have the manifests that actually contains this Android manifest.xml file. If I double click on this file, we can see uh, the information, the general information about our application, which is very important. So for example, it says we have this application tag. It says allow backup through the icon. We can specify the icon of the app here. So it is referring to the assign mipap, mipmap slash IC underline launcher. We have the label. So you can actually change the label. So let me run the app here. And by the way, if you don't know how to create a virtual device in, uh, new, in the newest Android Studio version, you can see that when I click on this run button here at the bottom, it says, uh, so we have these options here at the bottom. It says uh, create new virtual device. If I click on it, you can actually specify the device. So at the left hand side, we have the category TV, wear, phone, tablet. So in our case, we are going to use the phone and you can uh, specify the phone that you are going to use. So for example, let's choose Nexus 6, right? And then, or we have this Galaxy Nexus. And then we can click on next after you have selected the device, just click on next. And now you can, you, you need to specify the Android operating system version that you want to run on the emulator. We have the Oreo, Nougat, or the Marshmallow, Lollipop. So we already downloaded the Oreo, right? The system image Oreo. Uh, as you can see, it says Google APIs, right? And if I select this one and then click on next, here we can specify some other uh, settings, but you don't have to do that because uh, these settings are actually already specified for you. We have this show advanced settings here. They are already actually done for you and you just need to click on finish and then your emulator is ready. So let me click on cancel. And now uh, the app is ready. Let me show you the emulator. So here it is the emulator, you can see. Now we have this uh, label here, my calculator. So inside this Android manifest file, this label is specified here. We have this round icon. So it says that, uh, for example, the icon of our application should be rounded. So let me show you uh, the emulator. As you can see, all of these images that we have here are rounded, the icon is rounded, right? So let me go back to Android Studio. So we have some other attributes here, but we have this one, Android theme. So we have this theme attribute. It says at sign style slash app theme. So this means that we can change the theme of the application. How? By using the style.xml file. So take a look at this Android view here. We have this Java folder that contains our codes, our Java codes. And we have this one, this res folder, let's open it. And we have this drawable folder that can contain the resources of the calculator app here. So we can actually store our images here inside this drawable folder. We are going to use this one later. So let me close it. We have this layout file that contains the XML files, the layouts. We have this mip map folder that contains uh, the image icons of the application. So if you look at this Android manifest file, it says, for example, for the icon attribute, it is referring to this file, at sign mip map slash IC launcher, right? This folder. Let me close it. And we have this one, this values folder. We have the colors.xml file. Let me double click on this file. So let me uh, close other files here so that we can, we have only this uh, colors.xml file. This colors.xml file, uh, here, uh, this file contains the colors that we can actually later refer for our application. So we can actually some create some colors here and later in our application, we can refer to the names. So you can see that each tag has a name and the actual value. And then we can use these colors. We have the color primary, color primary dark and color accent. These three attributes are very important for an Android, Android material design. And we have this strings.xml file that contains their string resources. You already know about this one. And we have this one, styles.xml file. Let me double click on this file. 
let me double click on this tab in order to make this area wider but let me actually finish this video now uh, because uh, I want to in the next tutorial I'm going to actually explain how this style.xml file and this colors.xml file defines the style of the application the theme of the application so thank you very much for watching and I will look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial